And so today, we're going to work on the ask part of the engineering design process. And today's guiding question is, how do the thickness of an atmosphere and the design of a parachute affect the speed of a falling parachute? That's a lot, huh? Let's break it apart. How does the thickness of the atmosphere affect the falling parachute? That's the first part, okay? We'll think about that first. How does the thickness affect the falling parachute? So to model the atmosphere, we're going to use um, two containers over here. Especially with the solar system, we have to think about what it might be like. So we try to test things with a model. So what I want you to kind of see here is two different atmospheres. And what's in this container right here? Air, right? So we know air is real, right? Air takes up space, it can do work, right? We know that from weather, studying weather. So there's air in here. So let's pretend that this is a thinner atmosphere. So if this is a thinner atmosphere, what might this one be? A thicker atmosphere, right? So I'm going to drop two golf balls. So if we can compare how something falls in two different types of atmosphere. Does that make sense? OK. So I'm going to have one right here. And at the line, am I on, on the line for both of them? Down? That good? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to drop them and let's see what falls faster. The one in the thinner atmosphere or the thicker? Does anybody have a prediction before I drop them? Oh, the whole class. Angie, what's your prediction? I think the one in the thinner atmosphere will fall faster. Fall faster? Who agrees with Angie? Raise your hand. Anybody have a different thought? All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, drop. Yeah. Which one fell faster? This one? Let's try that again. A little spatula. <laughs> like an egg. All right, let's try it again. Jason, want to come up and do it? I'll do. Here, come on over. All right, that's the wet one. Okay, put it on the line. Tell them when it's on the line. Good? You drop it when you're ready. So which one falls faster? Okay, we're going to go back to the guiding question, and we're going to keep thinking about this as we work with these variables today. Parachutes fall more slowly in what kind of atmosphere? Thick. Slowly in a what? Thick. Thick. And more quickly in a? Thinner. Okay, because we got it now. Okay, so now that's one thing we considered. So today we considered the thickness of the atmosphere just now. The next part of the question that we're thinking about today is, um, how does the design of the parachute affect the speed of a falling parachute? So now you're going to actually have to start thinking about the design of the parachute, right? We're going to test three more variables. Sorry. Canopy, suspension lines, and the material for the canopy. So we're going to test materials. Some other groups are going to test suspension lines the length of the suspension lines, and other groups are gonna, going to test the size of the canopy. Okay, so this is the canopy. Canopy, suspension lines, and the load. The load is a bull clip. It's like a clip you would use for paper or something, okay? The teams that are doing suspension line length as the variable, what will change? The length. One will be shorter, a medium, and a longer. Got it? What will stay the same? Canopy size and the load. The last two teams will test materials, different types of materials, three different kinds of materials. They will all be the same size. What about the suspension lines? Same size. Got it? Got it? Okay. If you're creating, can you all see this? If you're creating a canopy, the canopy size is 14 inches. If the canopy size is 14 inches, and I fold it down from one side to the other, got that? That would be 14 inches. Does anybody remember what I call, what it's called when you go from the middle out. 
Do you remember that, um, Ariana? The radius. The radius, very good. So the radius, how many inches is the radius? Doa? Seven. seven. So the radius is seven inches. Everybody got that? Good. So when I have my piece of plastic, how many inches from the middle out? Julia? Seven. Seven, because that's the radius, right? No matter where I am from the middle of the circle out, it's seven inches. Okay? It's materials people that have to worry about this, and it's also all of you when you start designing your own. Because you're gonna, you're gonna decide how big you want your canopy to be. Okay? Does that make sense? All right. I also want to find the four equal spots across from one another. Okay? We're gonna have four pieces of tape that hold four suspension lines. And we put all the strings absolutely straight together. We want to make sure that when we measure them, they're absolutely perfect to the size we want. So they're all um, the same size. Okay? Once we have all of them together, do you remember how I showed you how to tie a knot like that? Yeah. Okay, we're going to tie a knot. If you get stuck on that, don't worry. Mrs. Francis and I are here to help you. And then the, the load gets clipped onto the bottom, and it stays on because of that knot. It helps us keep it on. Okay? Does that make sense? Each team gets a packet. On the front of your packet, please put your name and today's date, and then you check off what your team is testing, which variable your team is testing. Got it? So it says canopy size, material, or suspension line length. After that, your team builds your parachutes, based on this information. So this is for canopy material. This team is for canopy material. We're gonna test trial one, trial two, trial three. Got it? We're actually gonna go test it in the foyer where the stairs go down to the music room because it's a big long drop. I think the drop is like 15 feet and we get to test them and see how fast they go, which ones move faster, which ones go slower, based on materials, suspension lines, and canopy size. Okay? Oh, it's right. You ready for your plastic? Yeah. Well, I would change it a little closer to the edge. Guys, make sure you're taping your string close to the edge. Close to the edge of the canopy. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, you don't want this much string. You want it closer to the edge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> this looks good. That's a parachute. A paracatus. We're testing each one of these materials three times. Why do you think we're not just testing it once? Why? How come we're not just going to drop it, go, yep, call it a day, we know it works and what it doesn't work? Devin? Because it might not work the first time. Exactly. It might not work the first time. And not only that, you need a lot of data to make sure something is one way or another. Okay? You don't just test it once. You test it several times to be sure that you have accurate, accurate information. So when we go down there, you will stand at the top of the uh, foyer with Mrs. Francis, okay? I'll show you where to hold it. The, the load on all of them, the load has to be exactly the same. So if your suspension lines are longer or shorter, the load has to be the same. You see this? This is how it would drop. I'm not going to go like this with the parachute, the canopy. I want the load at the same place. Got it? And we're going to drop them at the same time. Each team makes three tries. Ready? One, two, three, go. materials. Ready? So Mrs. Francis has plastic, Thomas has coffee filter, and Angie has fabric. fabric. Ready? One, two, three, drop. 
Angie's, Thomas, and wow, Mrs. Francis. That's nice. All right, you guys come get it. One, two, three, drop. So let me ask you something. Who had the shortest string? So what do you think so far? The longer ones? That maybe. Come get your dad. Come get it so you can record it. Uh, one, two, three, drop. Is this suspension line length again? Yeah. All right. Last one. Last one. Right there. Don't move. One, two, three, drop. All right, let's get our data. Um, that was a busy activity, huh? Yeah. So let's see what we learned about that, about the materials that with the variables that we tested. So your first, that row over there, those three groups, what did you guys test? Canopy size. Canopy size. Canopy size. Your team, what do you think? Um, we think, well, the small one fell the fastest, the large one fell the slowest, and we think it fell the slowest because since it is so big, it caught a lot of drag which made it fall slowly to the ground. All right. So larger canopies fall more slowly, correct? And parachutes with a smaller canopy fall quickly. Agreed? Everybody agree? Okay, good. This whole section, what did you guys test? Suspension line length. Okay, what did your group come up with? Um, we got the fastest was the, the 7 inch and the slowest was the 21 inch. Savannah, you want to add to that? Um, I think it caught more air because it was more open. And um, Why is it more open? And the small one, it did, the strings didn't hold it close together. There you go. The longer the lines are, the more open the canopy can get, right? So you got, you're right. You're absolutely right. Did you guys find the same thing? The longer the lines are, the more that canopy can open up. And if the strings are shorter, it's not allowing it to open up to catch that air to have resistance and cause drag. Material people, what are you thinking over there? We found out that the, f the material that fell fastest was the sheer fabric, and the material that fell the slowest was the plastic. And because it had because the, pl the plastic had no holes, like the sheer fabric, the air could, could not go through the, the plastic. Okay, do you guys think the same thing, Angie and Thomas? Yep, did you find anything different? Well, the, yeah, the sheer was the fastest, I, the plastic was the slowest, and then I, we put, it has no holes, so it has less space for the air to go through. To go through, okay. I'll fill in this chart with all that information. Round of applause. That was an awesome, awesome lesson. How important do you think the ask is? Very. Very important. And those materials, so important. Nice job. I think lesson three is probably one of the most important lessons of, lessons of all. And I will always ask them, do you really think that the ask is really important? Because if you didn't know about the properties of the material, they would start cutting them out, thinking that this works better than that. And, you know, they may understand, I think they did have a connection too with the, um, with felt from bioengineering. They said something about holes, but then somebody said, but that was water and that's a very different substance than air. So it, they had good conversation about that. M will somebody in lesson four choose the felt? I, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But um, I think they understand that understanding all the, the questions they've asked along the way is going to help them create a parachute that's be successful. <laughs>